Hello, my name's Chris Carson. Uh, I lead uh, Geoscience Australia's Antarctic Geoscience Program. And today I'd like to share with you some, um, some special features of some rocks that I've worked on in Antarctica. Um, but before I get on, on to that, I would just like to remind you of Australia's territorial claims in Antarctica. Australia claims 42% of the continent of Antarctica, which is quite a large area. It's around 5.9 million square kilometres, which is nearly three quarters the size of Australia. So I think you'll agree it's quite a large area. So the rocks I'm going to be talking about today um, are from an area in, uh, on the eastern shore of Prids Bay, which is about 120 kilometres southeast of one of Australia's major Antarctic bases called Davis Station. These rocks are from uh, the Larsman Hills, uh, which is around 40 square kilometres in area. And I mapped these rocks with uh, a colleague from the US about 10 years ago now, during the summer of 2003. And during that time we produced a geological map of that area and it became obvious that these rocks were very special in that they contain quite an abundance of extremely rare and in some cases, as we were to find out, uh, unique minerals that are only found in the Larsman Hills. Uh, in this particular rock here, you can see these large crystals, uh, these black crystals, some, some as large as your finger. These are a mineral called prismatine. Now, that is found elsewhere in the world, but it's relatively uncommon. And, but in the Larsman Hills, it's extraordinarily abundant. So much so that we named one of the highest peaks uh, in the Larsman Hills, Prismatine Peak, due to the abundance of this particular mineral. Now we have this sugary coating across the surface of this rock and that's a very common uh, mineral called tourmaline. That's not the object of our interest here however. You can see these darker green uh, minerals here. That again is prismatine, a different chemical composition of the one I showed you before. But you'll also see there's some bluey minerals running through here, bluey uh, green aqua colour and that's a mineral called grandidiorite. In addition to these minerals, there are other examples that are only found in the Larsman Hills, such as borelsolite, uh, chopinite, um, tazeite, and stornazite. These are the four minerals that uh, were discovered in the Larsman Hills that have been found nowhere else on Earth. There is also a number of other minerals in the area that are rare globally, but, all, but very common in the Larsman Hills. When we recognised that these rocks were um, quite special, we wanted to take uh, steps to ensure that they were protected. Now, there is provisions under the Antarctic Treaty System which allows for protection of, these, of special sites. Uh, the vast majority of special sites uh, in Antarctica are protected on the strength of their biological or ecological or cultural values. And by cultural values, I mean historic huts, uh, that were used by Scott and Shackleton and Mawson. They're all Antarctic specially protected areas. But in contrast, there's not many locations in Antarctica that have been protected on the strength of their geological value. There's only four sites. And with the addition of um, the Larsman Hills, that makes five across all of Antarctica. So we developed the case in collaboration with the Australian Antarctic Division to have the Larsman Hills declared an Antarctic specially protected area. That is the highest level of environmental protection that is afforded underneath the Antarctic Treaty System. So that took some time. We started the process about five years ago. Recently in May there was an Antarctic Treaty consultative meeting which is held every year and the, the Larsman Hills Antarctic Specially Protected Area was endorsed by all treaty partners. So from that moment on um, the Larsman Hills has been protected under the highest level of environmental protection offered under the Antarctic Treaty System. 